So you might have heard the term zero trust architecture, but what really does that mean? Basically what it means is that even within the walled gardens, within our environments, some of our internal networks or our DMZs within our environment, we should treat those as if they're exposed to the internet. So you may feel that that's a little bit weird, right? Why am I treating my internal resources as if they're on the internet? Well, it's kind of that old theory that everything's secured on the outside, uh, but it's all a bit gooey and soft on the inside, right? So you should always assume breach and assume that somebody has broke through your perimeter and is inside your environment. In which case, if they get in, we wanna make sure we're doing things such as least privilege and making sure resources have only got access to the things that they actually need to have access to. Because if not, if somebody cracks through the perimeter, then they've got a foothold in your network. And if it's all soft and gooey inside and you haven't really got tight practices, they can start moving laterally and doing some pretty bad stuff. So we wanna make sure that we've locked down our walled gardens in the same way that we would lock down our resources that are externally facing the internet. One other way to think about it finally is that if you were building a castle today, would you protect it with a moat? Or would you do some alternative protections that are a bit more advanced? Well, you'd probably do the more alternative protections and have some security inside as well. So think of it like having security as if everything is connected to the internet.